Ross Fuko watches and thinks. Pagani time again. Pagani designed PD seventeen oh seven. I think we can see that on the case back somewhere, can't we? Yeah, just there. Another chronograph from Pagani Design, this time uh, taking a rather large slice of inspiration from the Royal Oak chronograph. It's actually quite a nice bracelet to be honest. I mean, it's integrated, so it, it kind of tapers from ostensibly about 25 mil there all the way down to, I think that's 19 and a half. It's certainly under 20 mil. It's a good taper to a butterfly clasp, H-link design. brushed throughout, although we get, do get a little bit of a little bit of angle, I guess, which helps to match up with that polished chamfer on the edge of the case there, which is quite nice, I like that. Uh, but it's generally a, a bar of a bit of polishing on the, on the sides of the bezel and a bit on the side of the case. It's, it's a fully brushed offering here, which is nice as well. 145 grams, quite heavy. Seiko VK63, so that kind of that same layout that you'll all be aware of. Running seconds at six, a 60 minute counter at nine, and a 24 hour clock on the dial at three. That is a tremendous dial. That's a good shot of it there. Lovely color. Lovely kind of almost hobnail, crosshatch, textured dial, catching the light so well. I mean, that dial looks to, to die for, let's be honest. There's a bit of loom on here, but only a little bit. Um, shall I shove it? Can I be bothered to shove it? Hold on. There's one. There's two. Oh look, the tiniest bit of luminescence, but that's Pagani design for you. Got that kind of faux riveted portal front there, aping the um, the Royal Oak signature styling. Screw down crown, screw down pushers for the chronograph. The first one to start and to stop. And the bottom one to reset back to 12. So it is um, a working chronograph, AKA stopwatch. And if you like a little bit of bling, which, you know, I'm not adverse to, and you don't want to spend a million bucks, in fact, all you need to do is spend 63 bucks, approximately 50 pounds for this. And I guess what makes this watch even more versatile, even more durable, is the fact that it's fully stainless steel and it is stated 200 meters water resistant. Now you can't argue with that. That means you can just put it on, forget about it, go swimming, go skin diving if you want with it. I wouldn't do that, but just take a moment to 
feast your eyes on that dial. It's glorious. Seven inch wrist. It is 39 mil across the bezel, 40 mil across the case. It is 46 and a half mil end to end. So it wears really nicely. Only 11 mil thick because of the quartz module inside. Lovely bit of bling off that H-Link bracelet because it is a butterfly clasp and there are no half links here. I have to wear mine a little tight, I have to admit. Another link and it'll be pretty loose, so for that reason it doesn't get worn a whole lot. But it's a super looking chronograph and it's only 50 quid and Roshu co-washes and things. I'm out.